What's up guys, Raw here and once again welcome back to the Raw by Universe. So as the iPhone 11 was launched and the 11 Pro along with the 11 Pro Max and many people were uh, really appreciating the cameras, the software, the hardware and the design also. So many people are trying to shift to Apple now because once they have heard and they have understood that why the Apple chips are more, way more faster than that of Snapdragon or any other Android processors. So this is the video that will highlight why the Apple processor, the Apple chips are way more faster and stronger and more powerful than the other Snapdragon or the Kirin or the other Android processors in the market. So the Apple A13 Bionic chip is an hexa-core processor built using TSMCS with 7 nanometer process technology. It has two lightning performance cores clocked at 2.65 gigahertz and four high efficiency thunder cores. The new chip delivers 20% faster speed and consumes up to 40% less power than last year's A12. If Apple didn't state that the specifies of ARM design, but we know it's 64 bit ARM chip. The A13 processor packs 8.5 million transistors and the upgraded neural engine is capable of performing up to 10 trillion tasks per second, twice that of A12 chipset of last year and that was the flagship processor of the Apple last year, it was the A12 Bionic chip. The new A series chipset got the deep fusion along with machine learning capability for low light and medium light photography. Deep fusion relies on the neural engine and it allows the device to capture one long exposure image, four short image, four secondary images when you press the shutter button. It is way more powerful. On the other hand, when we talk about the Snapdragon 855 Plus, the latest and the flagship chipset from for Android is the Snapdragon 855 Plus. It is a tri-cluster octa-core CPU built using the 7 nanometer process. It has Cryo 485 core clocked at 2.96 gigahertz three other cryo 485 clocked at 2.42 gigahertz and its power efficiency core with clock of its speed of 1.78 gigahertz while the cpu performance has received only minor boost over the snapdragon 855 the plus version get, gets a major gpu performance boost qualcomm appears to be fo focusing on gamers with new chip the Adreno 640 GPU is clock clocked at 672 megahertz up to 582 megahertz in 855 Snapdragon. So the Snapdragon 855 Plus is Qualcomm's elite gaming experience. It gives a lot of software and hardware capability along with mechanism. The 855 chipset is equipped with Qualcomm 4th generation Hexagon 690 AI engine capable of processing more than 7 trillion operations per second. So it's the power of blend to dedicated and programmable AI acceleration. So you can understand what's going on. Qualcomm has optimized its argumented reality, virtu virtuality, reality, and 5G connectivity, which Apple A13 doesn't support 5G. The Snapdragon 855 Plus built-in modem of X244 G LTE. But the, sna uh, the, the smartphone vendors that want to offer 5G in their phones can use Snapdragon X50 5G modem if they want to offer. Now let's look at the benchmark score. A device named iPhone 11 recently surfaced on the benchmark site of the Geekbench running iOS 13 with 4GB RAM. It is believed that iPhone 11 powered by A13 Bionic processor benchmark score suggests the processor leaves up to Apple claims because the Apple chip wins with lot of points and it's truth because iPhone 11 scored an impressive 5,472 points in single core and 13,769 points in multi core. But the Snapdragon 855 Plus has scored 3,623 in single core and 11,367 points in multi core. The Snapdragon 855 Plus is an improvement over its predecessor, but it's still far behind Apple's A13 Bionic in terms of performance. It doesn't mean that the new Snapdragon is a slouch. It's capable of running any task you throw at it, including the graphic intensive games. One area where the Apple chips lags behind is Qualcomm's offering is 5G connectivity. But that should not be a big issue considering 5G is not widespread yet. Wireless carriers have just begun rolling out 5G networks and it will take them few years to provide reliable 5G coverage across the US and across the other part of the country, also across the world. So there is one example which 
which is clear cut view that Apple chips are way more faster because when you are using a phone and you are turning the camera on it almost uses 50% of the processor's power but this time just imagine Apple what they have introduced they are running the three cameras from behind rear camera and one camera at the front so you will be able to focus you will be able to capture image and video at four four different cameras at a time so just imagine how powerful the apple chipset is going to be or the apple chipset is even the 812 bionic was way more faster and way more powerful than the 855 plus so this is the a13 the snap the apple a13 bionic chip is the most powerful chip or the most powerful processor in any smartphone till date and that's all for today so that was my explanation why the apple chips are way more fast and way more powerful than that of the snapdragon or other android chips in the market android processor in the market because the a12 processor last year was way more faster than 855 plus so this year it is completely revolutionary and the most powerful chip in the market in the smartphone market is the apple a13 bionic so that's all for today please hit the like button if you like this video ask me any doubt or queries in the comment section please share this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon before you leave that's all for today peace out guys